Hey guys, welcome to another update. So before I get started, just want to say thank you for 100 subscribers, my first milestone and hopefully first of many. Uh, so this update I actually managed to get quite a lot done on the pit boy and the inventory system, so let's get right into it and I'll show you what I've done. Alright, so I've got the basics of the pit boy done. So obviously when you open the pit boy, the game pauses and it releases the mouse. Um, there's no user input. Um, so basically like the game is paused, I think I will still pause the game, but for now it's going to be a real-time menu. Alright, so we can actually go in and start ticking some things off already, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we've got the ability to pause, the ability to toggle, and release the mouse when the pit is active. Um, I just want to add some more functionality to the tabs, so... With a bit more work, I actually managed to get the tabs to toggle, so each tab obviously has its own little page. Um, and as you can see, the UI at the top also changes to show you what tab you're on, which is pretty neat. So with the basics of the tabs done, um, we can finally move on to the next task, start taking a few more things off. So I would say the pit boy is actually finished now, and we can start moving on to the segments within the pit boy, uh, with the first being the inventory system. And you don't need me to tell you how important the inventory system is to the Fallout games, because it's pretty much the heart of the games, everything, everything works off with the inventory system. So it's quite important to get this working perfectly. So I firstly began on getting the inventory user interface actually in there and working. Um, so currently I've only got the user interface in there, obviously none of the tabs work, none of the text works, but the, the layout is there. Um, so now it's just to get everything working. I'm still kind of figuring out the icons as I go. So as you can see, I've uh, used the ticket for the weight and Bitcoin for the currency, which is obviously not the actual icons, but they'll do for now. So the first challenge was to get the subcategories to work inside the inventory. So uh, it's basically working off of a sub-tab system. So it's like a horizontal scroll type thing, except it locks, locks to each segment. Um, so pretty simple, uh, but you know I've never had to do it in Unity before. So this was actually the first time I've ever done it. So the way I built the inventory system, it kind of works off of scriptable objects um, from a database. Uh, so basically this database for now is just held in my assets folder. So I can just inside my project, I can go ahead and create any objects I want. So it's quite simple, obviously an item ID, uh, an item type, which determines what tab it's shown in, a name and a description, a weight, value, and whether it can stack or not. Um, so more unique properties will be coming in, uh, but for now these are just the generics I want to get up and running and working. So I've obviously filled in with quite a few generic items for now. So obviously we've got the Radaway stim pack, some ammo, some apparel, bit of junk, my bobby pin, and a weapon. So now that the system's up and running, seeing the items actually load in the inventory system was pretty awesome. Um, so I've actually got selecting items done. So as you can see, you can uh, you can use the W and S button to select the items or up and down in the controller, or you can also just click the item. You can also use left and right on the controller or A and D to switch between the sub tabs and Q and E to switch between the main tabs. My next challenge was getting the lists to scroll. So obviously when there's too many items, I want to be able to scroll. Um, so ignore all the numbers after. It's just so I can basically show you that the menu is scrolling. Um, so obviously you can scroll with the mouse or when you're using an Xbox controller or WNS, obviously it just keeps your selected item in the middle, which is pretty awesome. I've also got some selected indicators you can see at the top of the list and at the bottom of the list, just to let you know there's more at the bottom or more at the top while you're scrolling through. You can also click and hold the button. So if I click and hold W, it scrolls nice and quick, um, just for in case I want to get to the top real quick. All right, so now plugging in all the UI into the actual values. So obviously we've got the selected item values now. The 3D model doesn't load just yet as I haven't really assigned any 3D models to the items yet. Uh, see bottom left, I've got the weight loading now. And next to that, you can see the currency loading, which for now I'm just going to call caps. Uh, as you see, our player's got 22 caps. Um, the weight will be, it'll be a clean weight in the bottom left. So even though we've got points in our inventories, um, I, said I will make it uh, round because uh, I'm pretty sure that's how Fallout does it as well. As you can see, I've also removed the really ugly numbers and I've got item stacking working now as well, which makes the inventory a lot cleaner. So the next thing I wanted to work on was the actual action. So when you have an item selected, action show at the bottom of the screen to show you what you can actually do, along with the key as well. Um, as you can see, I've now also fixed the weight in the bottom left. Um, but yeah, no, got the actions done. So as I change item, you can see the, the labels change depending on what you can do with that actual item. All 
Alright, so currently smashing through our inventory tasks, which is really good, because uh, <laughs> this is one of the most complicated parts of the project. Um, so what I wanted to move on to next was actually getting the interaction system to work, so actually being able to pick up items when I drop them, um, so that I can show off the interaction system as one, because um, currently if I drop an item, <laughs> it kind of just, uh, nothing happens. I guess I've got a fairly simple interaction system working now, so when you look at an item it'll check to see if there's an item script attached to it and what the item is. Um, you can also see I've got a bit of the UI working now, so I've got a little dot in the center of the screen which turns into the expanding square when there's uh, something you can interact with. Uh, which obviously then activates the user interface to tell you what you're looking at and what keys to interact with it. So the next major thing I wanted to work on was actually the whole quick looting system. So when you look at a container, it actually shows you all the items inside. So I began work on that. So it works similar to the pit boy in terms of scrolling. See there is a little scroll indicator at the bottom there. And again, just ignore all the numbers and the fact that the clipboard doesn't stack anymore. Um, I just wanted to show you how it looks like while you're scrolling. Um, so I've also got the weight in the bottom left, but obviously as you can see that it's not calculated on anything right now. It's just kind of hard coded. Um, but yeah, no. So. Where it says storage at the top, it will actually show you the name of what you're looking at as well. All right, and my last addition for this week's update is actually finishing the the little menu here, so the quick access menu. So as you can see, um, item stack again now, and you can see the weight in the bottom left is calculated. Um, it does go red when you go over, um, so the weight in the bottom left actually shows you what your weight would be like after you pick up the item that you currently have selected. Um, as you can see in the top, it now doesn't just say container, it also shows Foot Locker. Um, so yeah, no, this is a nice simple system. Um, but what I'm going to be working on next is the actual transfer menu and uh, being able to equip, drop and actually pick up the items. So as opposed to just being able to see what you're allowed to do with them. Um, so yeah, sorry this update didn't actually come with a lot more like uh, content, as you can imagine. Um, or you might probably know the inventory systems actually take quite a lot. Uh, behind the scenes to actually build and get them to work properly. Um, but yeah, no, I think uh, I'm happy with what I've done so far. Um, it seems to be working very well. And yeah, so it kind of opens me up to moving on to the next features that I'm going to be adding, uh, which is pretty awesome. Thank you for watching. And again, thank you for 100 subscribers. And I will see you in the next update.